Henry's Forest Henry lives on the island of Sodor. He is a very fast engine who often pulls the express, much to Gorn's annoyance. He is a really useful engine indeed. He has seen many things change on the island of Sodor. He remembers when there were no diesel engines, before the big harbour was built. One of Henry's favourite places is the forest of pine trees, which he passes when he pulls the express. Henry can remember when the forest was being planted. A long time ago, some men came to plant trees in the hillside. Terence the tractor and Trevor the traction engine had come to help with the heavy work. The hills had looked very bare for a while, even after the tiny new trees had been planted. It looked rather peculiar to see the straight rows over the rolling hills. But as time passed by, the trees grew and grew until they covered all of the hills. Now there is a fine forest of magnificent strong trees. One day, when Henry was passing through the forest, he heard a terrible noise. What's that? asked Henry. Somebody is cutting down trees, replied his driver. Cutting them down? said Henry. But why? Henry was very surprised. To make furniture and new sleepers for your rails, explained his driver. The next day, Henry was sent to the forest with a train of flat trucks. We are going to help the men clear away the timber, Henry's driver told him. Henry felt sad. Where there had been tall forests now looked so bare. The logs were cleared of branches and then loaded onto the flat trucks. Henry took a huge logs to the lumber mill to be cut into planks. Henry was glad that wood was being put to good use, but he was still sad to lose part of his forest. Of course, the men had cut it all down. There were lots of trees still left. The next day, as Henry went through the forest, he saw men working there again. They were clearing the stumps away and the branches from the trees. Terence and Trevor were helping. That's the same thing they did when they were first planting the forest, said Henry. That's right, said his driver. They were planting new trees there now. Henry was happy. He hadn't lost his lovely forest after all.